We can make this that. Hell yes! <laughs> what is that, a jellyfish? Uh-huh. Let's do it! What color is the background? Tell me, tell me! Uh, pink, I see. Let's go with pink. Now let's find all of the pink backgrounds. Let's take these out. Okay. I am so glad we're doing this together. Let's just, let's just swim, Dad. This is so fun. Here, two lines. This is a corner. Where are you going? I thought we were. Okay, are you done with the puzzle? Okay. Jobs. What the speck? What the speck? What the speck? What the speck? Got about three hours of sleep last night. <laughs> I think the little one is teething, but she's a monster. It's also pretty warm. My middle of the night brain couldn't really troubleshoot it. Because you're an idiot. I think I pulled something in my back. Because you're old. Standing isn't really awesome. Because you're lazy. I really need to exercise. Yes, you do. In my free time. I'll get right to that. Hey, what are you having for breakfast, lazy bone? A goddamn burrito? But it's not a race! Sausage. Peanut butter jelly, classic. Actually, I'm a chef. For the baby? I'm trying to figure out what else I should catch you guys up on. Oh, no, no, we're good. We're good. Seattle's in the middle of a... Please, no. Pretty contentious city council race. Okay, we're not gonna talk about this anymore. The primary's just wrapped up. I ended up getting pretty involved. No one asked you to do that. For those of you who aren't like familiar with the history of it, I've been f following this group online called Safe Seattle. They suck! They're like an anti-homeless group. Not anti-homelessness, but anti-homeless group. It's an important distinction. Focused on like criminalizing poverty and advocating for policies that further criminalize addiction and sound like terrible people just generally make it more difficult to um raise money and political will to really like tackle this problem rich old white people uh but they ended up running a few candidates not like officially because they're technically a non-profit it's like a charity they were certainly backing in spirit a number of candidates and then a number of candidates came directly from their their ranks which makes him a bigot one of who was in my district. District 2. I've kind of made it my project to make sure that these folks don't get into office. You shall not! But the primary's done. It got very contentious. You know, at some point after it became clear that this guy probably wasn't going to make it through the primaries, the Safe Seattle folks kind of started freaking out and posting a lot about me. You're so important over there with that keyboard and everything. One of those posts was an old, was they found like a two-year-old tweet where I had said that I thought that our president oh boy. <clears throat> deserved to meet a firing squad. Well, okay. uh, So they kind of spun this as a threat against the president of the United States. But you're so nice and normal. And posted a screenshot of it to their 10,000 followers. Um, a bunch of those folks made it their business to contact the Secret Service. Heroes. A couple months ago, the Secret Service showed up. This is serious. And they interviewed me for 40 minutes. I feel so badly for them. It became pretty clear immediately uh, that I wasn't a credible threat to the United States of America. Or anyone. But it was an annoyance. So they ended up having to stay for like 40 minutes and go through this really long form. Questions about mental health, questions about, you know, histories of violence and all that. Did you pass? It was more an annoyance. They showed up at like 12.30. Nap time is at 1 p.m. They don't care. They ended up having to call my parents. I'll call your mother. The whole thing was relatively invasive and an annoyance. Do you have something better to do? But it just kind of demonstrates kind of how this city council race is like 
escalated. You're so brave. But either way, it all worked out fine. The candidate in District 2 did not progress to the general election. Had nothing to do with you. Pretty much all the folks that I wanted to did. Things are looking better than they have in Seattle in a few years. Are you moving? So that's good. What's up, babe? What should we do? Maybe play in my room. Let's do it. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. You can play in my room with me. Neat. What are you doing? That's dangerous! Where are you going? <laughs> that is so unsafe. <laughs> How are you going to get out of there? Oh my god, no! Oh, buddy. Oh, I think you saved your life. life. Can we get out of there, please? Thank you. Crisis averted. Hmm? What's the rat guy? Nothing else could go wrong. No! Don't give up. You're a mess. I'm a mess. No. Mm mm. Oh. Okay. Let's pull around. Just leave it. Can you not do that? Dad? What? Play, come on, play in my room now. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Baby Nita, come on. I'm just gonna rest a little bit, okay? Oh, you guys go ahead, I'll catch up. I'm coming. Wait. Snack break. Okay, I'm ready. Snacks. Can I play? Okay. Look at me, I'm a rock climber! Nothing can stop me now! I'm doing great. I don't need your help! I said I was fine. I'm gonna attack you. What kind of ice cream would you like? I want a chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream? Such a cliche. Would you like a, in a cup or a cone? Maybe a tub with a spoon. That'll be $10,000. Oops. Sorry. What did you do? What? I just said a little drop. Clean up this mess! I'm on my way! Yeah. Stop fighting. Ah. Oh, I said stop! You have to stop. Ugh. She's upside down. <laughs> Looks like a TKO to me. Drugs. I don't think that's gonna help at all. 